everybody, it's me, Aurora. Welcome back. I have a little bit of a, an inspirational video. I was inspired by Angela Kerr to follow along with a six part video where she was making an altered file folder into a journal. And so for the past six days, this is what I have been doing. And yeah, I am totally in love with this thing. It was so much fun to do. And hers, of course, is, was gorgeous. And I begged her to do a tutorial. And so she did. I'm sure I'm not the only one who begged her. But uh, yeah, this is this was the, uh, the file folder. I just have it closed with some ribbon. Not that it's going to pop open or anything. But uh, I cannot wait to show y'all what all we did. And if you follow my Instagram, you'll see I did, I put a picture of this, this part, this little part that, that was the first day. <laughs> and it ooh, is so intense. It was just amazing. But uh, I used a lot of um, papers from that were freebies from a lot of the other uh, crafters online. And so, yeah, this is most of the papers here, like all the butterflies are from Tina at Chevy Debbie Doodah. And uh, I cannot for the life of me remember where all these freebies came from because I, I download a lot of them. But there's this little uh, journaling card here. And then this one here, which is huge. Yeah, let's see. And then there's two journaling cards in the back. And this paper here and the paper in the back is some of the... Uh, hand-painted watercolor scrapbook paper that I did. And if you have not seen that video, I'll put a link up here, I guess. But uh, yeah, she showed us how to sew these little flowers and everything, and I was just like, oh, that's that's a new tool in my tool case. So here we go, the inside. And here's the first stuff in the first pocket on the inside. And I did not have the Tim Holtz little, it's like a little ladder that you put little tickets in. I didn't have that. So I decided to put this pretty Victorian lady in a journaling card on the front of that. And then in the inside, it has these top tucks. I put a little envelope and a little journaling card in that. And then all this is wine stained paper this in here. I did a little stenciling on the sides of some of them. Another pocket in the back with another journaling card. And that's that. That goes here. And then I decorated two envelopes just like she did. Um, well, not just like she did. Of course, mine are different because they're made out of different papers and things like that. But uh, I still think they came out really pretty. So all this goes in here. I'll put that ribbon on back on later. And then this side, these, this entire thing we made in another video that she put out, but she wanted us to put the flaps of the envelopes this way. But mine were too pretty. <laughs> so I put mine going that direction. And I have this journaling card here. And I know if I take these all the way out, I'll never get them back in. There we go. And like I said, all the butterflies are from, no, not that one that's printed on there, but all the butterflies come from Tina at Chevy Debbie Doodah. And I did not have an envelope with the window, so I used another envelope from another kit that was a freebie and put a window in one of the envelopes myself so that has a little window there and then the tag I just put a tag in the back and I made the little specimen tag to go on top of it which I think is precious I just love that and then uh, this paper here Along with this envelope here on the back, I actually drew this. It took me 19 hours to draw this paper. And then I just tinted it this color on the computer and printed it out and made envelopes and pockets out of it. Along with this rose here on the background, this I 
painted on a Twitch stream several weeks ago. So, um, yeah, that's also mine. And then put a little corner tuck with some adrenaline cards. Put in there. And then this has a big pocket that holds two large journaling cards. A couple of tags there. And in the back side, which you already saw this, um, has this butterfly enclosure for this envelope here. And it makes a pocket. Come on, get it right. It makes a pocket in the back where I put another envelope. Like so. And then the next <laughs> flip out here, I made a little front pocket for a long tag on that. And then it has three pull-out tags here. And I used cheesecloth for the little fluffies at the top. I thought that was kind of pretty. And then it hinges and folds here where there's two more pockets with uh, some journaling cards here and here. And it all matches the, the two kits that I used, those two freebie kits. And then this was the last thing we did was this uh, ephemera holder, which I'm keeping closed with the, one of those altered paper clips. And I decoupaged the front of this with some a little bit of cheesecloth around the word flowers. And it holds a whole bunch of ephemera. And has little, the little pockets I made out of tracing paper because I don't have vellum, so. <laughs> but there's a lot more stuff in here that we could use to decorate the pages in uh, the little the one little book. And then here's another paper clip, which is also a journaling spot. Yeah, let's see, let me get that back on there. Yeah. And so yeah, this was this was my create my creation. Uh, following along with Angela Kerr, who is an absolute doll, and she's so incredibly talented when it comes to these types of things coming up with this kind of stuff and uh, I, I did I had an absolute ball <laughs> putting this together and uh, yeah I made my own little tag hers had a real pretty little tag that had little gems and everything on it was really adorable but uh, I liked it so much that I uh, decided to make a matching journal for it <laughs> matching book so this is the same, if you can tell, this material here is the same as on the spine here. It has the same papers that they used in here. And uh, this is a lot of tea stain papers, three signatures, and has, a, has an envelope in the center of each um, signature. But I have yet to finish decorating all this, but I hand painted around the corners here on the front and the back, and this is all hand painted. This is paperwork, but all this is hand painted around here, as well as the cover underneath the papers. It has, uh, it's like the purple, but then I laid a piece of tissue down and decoupaged it on, and wherever it kind of tore, I would put gold paint. So yeah, this still has to be decorated, but it's uh, it's coming along. It's getting there. So that's gonna be a nice thick book. So yeah, this is this is what I did to follow along with Angela Kerr. And if you've not heard of her, I will leave a link to her channel um, down below in the description box. And so yeah, um, thank you so much, Angela. I sure do love y'all bunches, and I hope to see y'all in my next video. Take it easy. Bye.